In this video, you will learn on how to find the sum of the terms of a given arithmetic sequence. Arithmetic series refers to the sum of the terms in a given arithmetic sequence. So if 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30 is an arithmetic sequence, its sum, which is 5 plus 10 plus 15 plus 20 plus 25 plus 30, is called the arithmetic series. It is expressed as S sub n. S here refers to the sum, and the subscript n refers to the first n terms. In other words, it is read as the sum of the first n terms. So if we have S sub 4, we have first 4 terms, so it is the sum of the first 4 terms. If it is S sub 10, then we have sum of the first 10 terms. The sum of an arithmetic sequence comes off with two formulas. The first one is where N, A sub 1, and A sub N are given. N is the number of terms, A sub 1 is the first term, and A sub N is our Nth term or the last term itself. And then... The second formula has a given values the same with the first one. We also have n here and a sub 1. But the given the other given value is d or the common difference. Let us try some examples. So for the first one, what is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 up to 1000? This means that we are going to add the numbers from 1 up to 1,000. If you will do it um, using our calculator, we would spend a lot of time adding 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 and so on. That's why we have the formula to make our life easier. So the first one, or the first formula that we are going to use is the S sub N is equal to N divided by 2 times quantity a sub 1 plus a sub n so the given values here are 3 we are going to get n first so our n or our how many numbers are we going to add that would be 1000 numbers next our first term is just 1 and then our nth term or the last term is 1000 so next would be the substitution process so we will just substitute the right value so we have S sub 1000 is equal to 1000 divided by 2 times the first term which is 1 plus the nth term which is 1000. And then divide, so 1000 divided by 2 is just 500. And then for our quantity here, let us just add this one first. So 1 plus 1000 is just 1001. And the last step would be multiply 500 and 1001. So the answer is 500,500. So in other words, if you continue to add, you, if you just try it out on your calculators, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus and so on, up to 1,000. If you add it all up, the result would be 500,500. Another example using the first formula of the sum. So suppose you're going to find the sum of the arithmetic sequence given that the first term is 42, the nth term is 146, and the n, or the number of terms, is 14. So for our solution, we will write down the given values muna. So n is 14 up to a sub n, which is 146. And then let us substitute. So S sub the value of N which is 14 is equal to 14 divided by 2 times quantity our first term is 42 plus our Nth term or A sub N is 146. And then perform the indicated operation. So we have to divide 14 by 2 and that is just 7. Inside our parenthesis we have 42 plus 146 that is just 188. And then multiply. The answer is 1,316. Next, what is the sum of the first 10 terms of 7, 11, 15, and so on and so forth? So this time, A sub N is not given. We are, we are, only, we are only given the sequence itself 7 11 and 15 and also the number of terms which is 10 so 
rn is equal to 10. The first term is just 7. And this time, the, the other value that we can obtain is the value of the common difference d. In order to solve for d, you just subtract the second term, which is 11, by the first term, which is 7. So 11 minus 7 is 4. And then, substitute to our second formula, since d is given here. So we have three values of n to be substituted, and that is just 10. So we have s sub 10 is equal to 10 divided by 2 times quantity 2, or a sub 1 is or the first term that we have here is 7 plus 10 minus 1 times d which is equal to 4 and then perform the indicated operation for the first one 10 divided by 2 is just 5 next multiply 2 and 7 we have 14 and then 10 minus 1 is 9 times 4 9 times 4 is 36 so I have it there, and then the last step would be add 14 and 36, so we have 50. 50 times 5 would be 250. So in other words, our S sub 10, or the sum of the first 10 terms, is equal to 250. Next, find the sum of the arithmetic sequence with A sub 1, or the first term, which is equal to 8. N is 12, and D is equal to negative 3. Let's write the given values down for our solution. n is 12, okay, and a sub 1 is 8, d is negative 3. And then now we will substitute. So for our n, it's 12. So you have 12 over 2 times quantity 2 multiplied to a sub 1 are the first term, which is 8. And then our d is negative 3. Please be careful in the substitution process. Once you substitute the wrong value, then your answer would be incorrect. And then simplify the indicated operation. 12 divided by 2 is just 6. Then 2 times 8 is 16. 12 minus 1 is 11. 11 multiplied to negative 3. 11 times 3, or negative 3 rather, is negative 33. And then 16 plus negative 33 is just negative 17. Last step, multiply 6 to negative 17 and that is just negative 102. 